Welcome to the June edition of Cornerstone Connect. We have a very special program plan just for you. Anna Schmidt drops in to interview Pastor Gary as he encourages us to make our summer jump. And the Glory Hour host Sydney Goldman shares exciting news and letters from the mailbag from viewers like you. Welcome, I'm your host, Amanda Brocker, and I just have one question for you. Have you received your Hope Today newsletter in the mail? If not, please give us a call at 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org. We love to stay connected. And I just have to reflect on some of the mail that came in. We have such a miraculous story that came in from one of our longtime partner friends. And this is a miracle that happened for them. His wife went into hospice care and was given six months to live. The Lord has miraculously touched her life. She is still with us. And because of that, it reminded him of the miracle that God did in the beginning through Russ and Norma with Cornerstone Television Network. So he had to call and share with us of God's faithfulness then and now in his own life. You know, our God is a miracle working God. So many of you wrote in and I just appreciate this is Melinda. She said, thank you for your faithfulness during the past 37 years. She's been a viewer. I have been truly blessed through your great ministry. Thank you, Melinda, for writing in. And here is another from an anonymous person. They called in for prayer for a UTI, and after several months, they are totally healed. God does what he always does. He loves to touch us in our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. He is faithful. This comes from another anonymous partner. My husband has no more cancer in his body. He has complete uh, all the radiation treatment for his prostate and his blood work is all good. May God bless you all. Thank you so much for writing in to tell, you know, tell our God story. It is so important that we do that. Maybe you have a God story. We would love to hear from you. We wanna see all the things that God is doing. This is from Michael. He said, um, a prayer for protection and safety for his brother and everyone healing and for his sister Carolyn and Coco and God hears and sees your every need and we love to put our faith in agreement with yours and see God do the impossible and he put a note here my sister was healed praise the Lord God is a answering Jesus, that's for sure. It says in 1 John 5 that when we pray, when we pray according to his will, he hears us and he answers. You got to check that one out. It's in verse 14 and 15. This is from Sonia. She said, dear partners for prayer, thank you for praying for my family, the Williams children. She said, please continue to pray for them because I see a change in them. Isn't it good to see the change in the people you're praying for? Praise God, Sonia, we rejoice with you. This comes from Carol. She said, I called Cornerstone one night and she was seeing black figures, like probably something demonic, it sounds like to me. So a lady prayed for me and they left. And she was calling or sending us this letter because she's praising God that he answered the prayer. God sees and God is not afraid of anything that the enemy has to offer. So I encourage you to walk tight with Jesus, to know his word because he desires to be at work on your behalf. He does not want you to have fear. He doesn't want black figures hanging out with you. He desires for his presence to come in and fill your very homes. And that is our prayer for you you. Well, coming up next, we have Anna Schmidt as she sat down with Pastor Gary to discuss making a summer jump. So tell me, who was your favorite character? Dirk, Abby, Gigi, Marcus? 
That was the unique spin on his place. We mixed real life guests with a storyline that all weaved together in a diner to create his place. Well, we coined the phrase where America comes for food for thought. And we were very thankful to the Lord and Cornerstone Network to design a show unlike any other television show to this day. I hope you enjoy yet another episode that starts right now. It's so good to be with you on Cornerstone Connect. I have the great privilege of being here today with Pastor Gary Mitrick, the chairman of our board. And Pastor Gary, we always have so much fun working <laughs> on the cover article for the newsletter. It is June, summer season is upon us. And on your heart, you say, it may be the lazy days of summer, but we don't want a summer slump. We want a summer jump. Well, Anna, it's great to be with you and with all of our Cornerstone Connects family. You know, I think everybody looks forward to the nicer, warmer weather, schools out, you know, vacation time. And uh, I don't like winter. <laughs> no. I'm glad winter's over and that's behind us. But it's also a time, I think, when a lot of our disciplines kind of relax. Mm -hmm. We just kind of can maybe get out of the, the, the spiritual disciplines that maybe we need to stay consistent with. I always say, I'm all for a natural vacation, but you can't afford to take a spiritual vacation. That's right, we always have this mission to be ambassadors for Christ, to love God and love other people. And so you share three different ways to have that summer jump instead of a slump. And the first one is never stop praying. Well, you know, I, I, when, when we go back to the, to the birthing of this ministry, 10 years before we ever went on the air in 1979, Norma Bixler, when she got the vision that God said, raise high his signal for the nations, she gathered six other women and the seven of them came up on this hill and for 10 years, Anna, a lot of people don't know that, for, for 10 years they prayed and prayed and I always say they dug the ditches, they dug the trenches in prayer that literally gave birth to this ministry and that is, prayer is what's sustaining this ministry. We need that in our personal lives, but we also need that for this ministry to remain strong and faithful. Right, yeah, we know, that not, like you said, not just for CTVN, but also in our personal lives right. that, that that digs the dishes because we're praying and believing for good things and big moves of God. And the second thing that you say is to stay the course. You share the scripture in Hebrews 12, 1, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race marked out for us. Well, we all know the story of Mary and Martha. <laughs> and God, God said to Martha, 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 you're so distracted. In summertime, the nice weather, being outside, it's lighter at night, longer. It's so easy to get distracted. Right. But you know, one thing about Cornerstone Television, we have to continue through the summer months to stay strong, to, you know, and, and we need our income to stay strong and current through the summer months. So if people sometimes very, you know, just gets distracted, sometimes without even knowing about it, they can get off course, they could lose and forget their commitments. You know, we need to keep our priorities, yes. both personally, and we are doing that here at Cornerstone Television. We want to have a strong summer because there's a lot of people that will be viewing this network in the summer when they're home that maybe don't watch it during the rest of the year. Right. And part of staying on course, too, is you say to keep the main thing the main <laughs> thing, which is love God and love others. And so that kind of moves us into the third point of look around you, that we are to be outward focused as ambassadors for Christ. Yes, we, we all have what I call a sphere of influence. You have people that God's gonna put in your path, I do, and you do as well. Cornerstone Television does. We all have that sphere of influence. And if we're caught up in ourselves, 
We always say the, the big corporation is me, myself, and I. <laughs> we, we've got we've to deny ourselves. We've got to decrease so that the Lord can increase. And, and, and it says in Colossians 4, walk circumspectly. In other words, walk outwardly. Just look around. See who God puts in your path, in your day. It may be someone at the bank at the grocery store, at school, at church, somebody in your path, a neighbor, a relative, that God wants to, you to be a blessing and an encouragement to. Right, yeah, the summer is a beautiful time to spend more time vacationing with family, friends, neighbors, and that God is always giving us opportunities to love those around us and to show the love of Christ. Well, and for many parents, children will be home from school. That's so that's right. a great time, you know, to maybe have, you know, family devotions with them, just prayer in the mornings or prayer before they go to bed at night. It's just, I, I like to say, seize the moment, seize the opportunity and take advantage of this summertime. That's right. And finally, in our last little bit, we have, we have, incredible growth here at Cornerstone Television with our viewing audience. And would you like to just thank our audience for helping Cornerstone have that summer jump and all through the summer, the audience, all the places that are being, yes, we're being watched. We do, we're all so grateful for our Cornerstone family, as well as our partners, those of you that support us. And we just say, remain faithful through these upcoming summer months. You know, we're, we're in a lot of new markets right now. Our viewing audience has increased. Why, Anna? Because people are looking for hope. They're looking for help. They're looking for healing. They're looking for answers. And Cornerstone Television Network has the answer and his name is Jesus. So I just bless you. I thank you, Lord, for all of our Cornerstone uh, television network family and partners and I pray you would remain strong and faithful so that we could all have a summer jump and not a summer slump. Yes, amen. Pastor Gary, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I was busy buzzing around town, hopping in and out of stores, and I, I go into a store and a gentleman said, Pastor Amy, I agree with you. And I said, agree with me about what? And he said, I was watching you on television and we agree with you. And I said, on Cornerstone Television? He said, yes, my wife is Greek and I am Jewish. And I thought, and they're watching Christian television. I thought about the scripture, Romans 1 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew and then to the Gentile. So I pray today that you are not ashamed of the gospel. Give us a call today. When you support CTVN, you support Cornerstone Cares. We are committed to tithing a portion of every dollar you give to support more than 30 ministries locally and around the world, even as far as South Africa. And today we're excited to have Philip and Marina DeVries in the studio with us. They've been serving the people of South Africa for 24 years and are here to share what God's been doing, as well as how you can pray and support them in this season. So Philip and Marina, so good to have you with us today. So thank you for having us. Well, it's great delight to be back here in good old CTV. That's right. So start us off for those who don't know you or meeting you for the first time. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you got to South Africa. Okay, so I am a teacher by trade. Philip is a pastor and uh, we went on a short-term missions trip from America. I was teaching at that time and um, we landed up in the township St. George and God just broke our hearts. So we came back and we sold up what we had and we went and registered an NGO, MPO in South Africa 
and Life Community Services started. Yeah, it's incredible to know your story that you're in your 40s and 50s and then God yep. uprooted you, moved you to South Africa. So share with us what is God doing there? What is the, the climate, the culture of South Africa right now? That is a fascinating subject, but I, I can tell you this, that it's a critical place to be working in. We have many different facts, and Marina has got them at her fingertips when it comes down to it. But the, the challenge is always there that many people are in a neglected kind of a scenario, and, uh, and in that neglect, somebody had to go in there and say, where is the love that is necessary? So that's what happened 24 years ago, and now it's here we are so many years later, and thousands and thousands of kids have been impacted. Yeah. With, the, with the good news of Christ. Right, it's incredible. And so you guys are, are taking children that are in very desperate situations. So what are you taking them out of and what is the new way that they're experiencing love? Okay, so in South Africa, especially where we are working, um, it's got the highest alcohol fetal syndrome yeah. in, in the well, second oldest, uh, highest in the world, but yeah. in South Africa. That's number one. And number two, child trafficking is number four in South Africa. And the children are so vulnerable because so many of our kids are child-run or child-headed families. Yeah. So if it's child-run, a child runs, got the siblings, they take care of 13-year-old, takes care of all the little ones, no parents. Child-headed is when the parents are there, but they can't take care of the family. A parent might be there. So it's a very critical situation. And this makes them so vulnerable to outside forces. And the other thing we are, f we are battling is sangomas because they love to uh, harvest body parts of the kids. So kids are so vulnerable. Yeah. So what we Just did... Just to pause you, the sangumas, that was the word that you used? Sangomas, yeah. What, so that's, how does that translate? That's witch doctors. Witch doctors, yeah. okay. Um, and so it, it's actually very, very sad to see that. And there was a, a time in South Africa when, the, when they told the nation, the men, um, if you rape a baby, you can get cured from your AIDS. So we had babies being yeah. raped and it was horrendous. It was horrendous. So we just decided we've got to do something. So we started centers in the community where the children come every day. There we understand that they're looking after their siblings. So we put them in school in the mornings and then we keep the little ones in our daycares. So we've got 200 kids in our daycare, 50 in one and 150 in the other one. We call it happy feet because we want the yeah. children to be happy. Yes. And then from there, in 2017 it grew. The Lord just impressed on us. These kids cannot just be fall out of the system or go into the school system because there's 50 kids in a class. There are no parents to help them. How are they going to go further? So we started a school. And at the moment, we have a school of about 320 kids. And we're from grade one to grade seven with two classes per grade. It's only wooden classrooms, but praise the Lord, they're in a proper school setting yeah. because we have brilliant teachers. And I just thank the Lord for the teachers he's given us and for the staff he's given us. We have a staff of 62 people to take care of all these different areas, our centers, outreach centers, which is six, and then our school and our creches and, and our isipu, that's our sewing project. It's amazing. The ladies have grown up in the, in the ministry. We taught them the basics, and now they so far better than what we could. Yeah. And they make anything. That's incredible. And they do, and there's also the issue that all the children, basically there's a food security uh, necessity there and um, and so on a daily basis there is uh, over a thousand meals a day that are brought from out of our kitchen as well so they're 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 constantly getting the the nourishment they need because if they don't get it they're not going to be able to study or do anything else right and so our time together always goes so fast we have just a couple minutes left and I know you're facing an incredible need right now. Can you share with our CTVN family what that need is and how they can support you? So our current need, we, in South Africa, they've abandoned the idea of orphanages. Yeah. So we've set up homes 
foster homes in the community with six yeah. kids in a home with a mom, six kids in a home with a mom. And now we are faced with we need a center and a home. So we have, we found a home, but we need to purchase it. And the home is 350,000 rand, which translates into roughly about $10,000. $12,000, um, but we have to purchase this plot so that we can set up another home and have a center. I'll tell you what a center is. That's where the kids gather in the afternoon for word, worship, life skills, and food. But the kids in Borchards at the moment are sitting on a street corner because we do not have a landing place for them. We were in a church, and then the pastor decided we've got to pay him rent and we couldn't pay the rent so he kicked us off the premises. <laughs> then we sat on the stoop of a, a shop and yep. they said we're making too much noise with our worship so we had to move from there. So we're just sitting on the corner of a street at the moment. And if you, yep. if you see that your heart just breaks, we've, because rain, shine, doesn't matter what it is. Yep. They are there, the We're kids there. are there because they want love, they want acceptance, they want, they need the food. We give them clothing, we, we've got a very big clothing outreach too. Okay. So that in a nutshell is our current very big need. Very big need to give these children a place to That's be. Yep. And so as, as a CTVN family, as you give to Cornerstone, know that a portion of every dollar goes to Cornerstone Cares, but if they want to give directly to your ministry, how's the best way for them to do that? Okay, so they can send a check and it's made out to IRM slash um, uh, Life Community LCS. Services, LCS. Okay. And then they can send it to box 444, Leechburg, PA 15656. Yep. Or they can go on PayPal. And if they go on PayPal, they look for Life Community Services and they look for my email address. And they'll find it there, which is marina at lifecommunity.co.za. Right. And they can have it. Life community. Life dot community. Dot CO. Okay. Dot One C. final word. One. Yes. Anybody that gives to life knows that they're giving into something which is going to have total accountability. And that is so important in this day and age. They know that they can have all the confidence in the world because everything is going to do what it says it's going to do. Yes. And that's it. Amen. And Amen. we also have a very good website and it's just www.lifecommunity.co.za. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, Philip, Marina, thank you for sharing your heart and being with us today. God bless you and may all of his provisions be poured out on you. Thank you so much for having us. Great honor, thanks. Listen, we were all sinners and we were all, while we were in sin, Christ died for us. I know that when I pray that God and I have a special relationship and I think that it's going to be the same way when we get to heaven. We live in a society and a culture that cannot handle disagreement. We know what the Bible says is true and the proof really is all around you. Well, these look really good and we're going to roast them at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. God, you want me to do this gospel album, I want to do it. Let's make it happen. And by gosh, he did. Lord, give me a revelation of my heavenly Father's love. But just know every morning when you rise, God's mercies are new. And I find your day. Give me strength in my times of distress. What's amazing, he wants you to know what's on his mind and on his heart for this day and for this hour. Now, some people say to use a whole bottle. I think that's too much. So I usually do about half a bottle. You give your all and your life to Jesus and yield it all to him, your life will never be the same. 
Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this Cornerstone Connect program. I know I love to hear what God is doing in and through our network, and it is all because of you. We can't thank you enough for every dollar. Just think of the cents, every penny. It represents people that are on the other end of our obedience to obey the call of God that the Lord gave to Russ and Norma Bixler many years ago. We are so thankful that we just celebrated 45 years of being on air. None of that is possible without you. So just know our gratefulness to you is over the top. We love you. We appreciate your obedience to the Lord as we run together. I just have one more letter that I would like to reflect on. This was from Sue and she said that she called the prayer line and requested prayer for her husband and the person she spoke with prayed with her. And she, this was in February, and right after her husband had to have surgery uh, on his stomach, his pancreas, his intestines, there were things that had to be removed. And she wrote in to say he is now in recovery and doing well. You know, just thank the Lord. We have each other. You know, we are truly just here for you. And it's just a true statement that we can say that hope really does happen here at Cornerstone Television and it's because of the working of Jesus Christ. You know, thinking about um, jump for this summer and not getting slumped, I think the only possible way that we can do that is to stay connected to the vine. And when I think of my own life, you know, sometimes we go on vacation from God. And that's not a good idea because sometimes in your spirit, if you don't continue to feed it, eventually your spirit will lose its hunger. And we don't ever want to find ourselves in that place where we're distant from God, where we're not walking in the will that he has for us because there are people on the other end of our obedience. So just with that thought in mind, if we could go to John 15, I love this talking about the true vine. And you have the father being the gardener, but it says in verse 5 that I am the vine, that's Jesus, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. And that's a rather sobering thought, but it is our reality. We can do nothing apart from him. So getting in a life slump, Falling away from the Lord and not walking tight with Him affects every part of our life. And we can't bear any fruit. You know, what is this fruit? Well, it's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I desire to walk in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, self-control. I may have missed one in there. But it's so important for me to stay connected to the vine so that I can do the will of the Father. And we desire that for you here at Cornerstone. It's why we exist, to bring the Word of God to help feed God's children and to keep you on the straight and narrow path that He's called for you because there are people on the other end of your obedience. So we do encourage you this summer to stay tuned to Jesus.